Hello, today we're going to um, do a hands-on configuring IP address for Linux. And um, we have three main tasks to configure the IP address for Linux. The first step is to configure the IP version for TCP slash IP settings for ENP 2S0 network. The next task is to configure DNS and the third task is to correct. Uh, the ENP2S0 interface card. So let's dive right into the task ahead of us. So once you get into um, your, you click start. Mm -hmm. So the instructions are that you have been appointed the IT administrator for a small corporate network and what you need to do is configure the IT admin machine so that the workstation can connect to the local network and the internet using a static IP address instead of a DHCP. So this lab is meant to be completed with Termina. So go to your favorite taskbar then click Termina. Then here you click in IP show IP address so we once we do that we are able to see the state of our network at the moment then the next step is to configure the ip version 4 tcp uh, settings in uh, for the n e n uh, p 2 s 0 network connection so we need to get to the file so we type in a cd space etc space sysconfig slash um, network creeps. So once we do that, we press L and S so that we can get to the file. So I want you to take note of ifcfg-en. P to S0 because that is the file that we're going to configure. So to the first step is to configure the IP version 4 to CP IP settings for the ENP to S0 network connection. So type in nano space if uh, cfg dash ENP to S0. Good. So we are typing in this and we are getting to configure that. So type enter. So here we've um, been taken to where we can uh, configure. So uh, in this, in my case, I can't see the IP address to edit the subnet mask to edit to broadcast to edit default gateway to get to edit. So if you have this, in your in your terminals you can edit whatever you have with this but for me i don't have so i'll modify uh, which is not required but i have to do this first step so i'll modify and actually type in this is not required but because we have to go through the step if you have it in after you've done that, you need to edit directly. So because I have not, then I have to uh, literally type in. And I have to repeat, this is not required. I'm going out of my way just to show you how I could have edited if it was there but it is not there. So type in 192.168.0.255. Then default gateway, so I'll just write gateway. Um, 192.168.0.0. Because without this first step, I cannot be able to configure DNS. So they say remove any reference to DHCP in NIC configuration file. So the reference that I'm seeing to 
DHCP here is uh, boot for boot port of DHCP. So remember, our main goal was to start using static IP address right of, instead of DHCP. So that's why we're removing the reference to DHCP. So using your arrow keys, navigate to the bottom where go to, uh, click enter to where there's a free space. Then exit by exiting, you click yeah. control and X. So you ask whether you want to modify, uh, you want uh, to save what you have done, say type yes, you type in yes. So you have been given the name to write. So what do you do? You want to proceed to the next step. So as you can see, we have the IP address, the subnet mask, the broadcast and the gateway well edited so type in enter so the next step is to configure dns so you type in nano um, space ifc uh, no. fg uh, dash is it dash really uh let me confirm this um so the next step no because you're we are configuring dns so you type in nano space slash etc because remember it's the file that we we, we used up there so resolve uh, dot config conf right so here you have to be really careful of the typos so from there we have the server that we need to edit we need to configure in other words so it's 163 dot one two eight dot seven eight dot nine three then come and edit one six three dot one two eight dot eight zero dot nine so in case of you're wondering where i've gotten this this is from uh, this particular point right so from there I think we enter to a space where there's nothing, then exit, control X. Then do you want to mod uh, modify? Yes. So type in Y. Do you want to go to the next step? Click enter. So once you have configured that, we need to set um, the interface down and up so that it aligns with the new configuration. So we we'll type in IP um, link. Set um, ENP2S0 down. So we start with down, press enter. Uh, so if you want to copy the info, because we are going to type in the same thing, but the, it has the end writing up. So you actually just uh, click shift and uh, the up arrow key, then you remove the down and type in up. So good. So once we have that, we are using ping to test the correction to the ENP2S0 interface card. So what you do is type in ping space negative C4192.1.1.1 uh, uh, So we have started with um, the default gateway. Uh, so we actually have confirmed connection to the network and the default gateway. So once you do that, we ping. Um, then ping neg uh, negative C4 one space one six eight dot one two eight dot eighty dot nine three. So once we have done that we do ping yes and what we have actually done is to confirm the connection to the dns server and the outside network so lastly we do a ping negative c4 space www.copnet dot x y z so what we are doing here is we're confirming the dns resolution and for that our task is done 
So I want us to get into why we did all this. Um, we did all this because our goal was to enable network connectivity. That is, we assigned an IP which allows the system to send and receive data across network. So without this, uh, the machine will have operated in isolation and there could not be no local network access. We also did this for static and, and dynamic control. So static in the sense that uh, like the one we are configuring, we are ensuring consistency for servers, routers, and end device needed uh, that needs predictable address. We also we are doing it for the dynamics IPs, for example, by the DHCP, which changes over time, which is fine for casual use, but problematic. It's actually a problem for system that need to be reliably reached. So that's why maybe our task was changing from instead of using the DHCP, we use the static so that we have a predictable address. We did this for for the system roles and services. That is for uh, if we are using Linux host machine as host, so we did this for the web server, for the database, and for the file sharing. So by using a static IP address to ensure that our clients can always connect. And this is crucial for when we have remote backups and automated scripts. We also did it for security and routing, so we can define the firewall rules, access the controls, uh, and the routing paths based on the IP. This is actually helps us in segmenting network, uh, isolating sensitive systems, and enforcing compliance. We also did it for monitoring and collaboration so that you may be able to integrate monitoring tools, remote support systems, and dashboards. So in a real life situation like the one we were given here is that we ensure that the field devices are reliably pushed down to it the remote teams are actually having access to VPN and SSH, and we could set alerts, logs, and backups without worrying about the IP address changes. So let's do our score and see how we fared on, on this. As I want you, the first step was meant for editing, and I didn't wasn't able so here we also had an issue with the ping and that's that so have a great day